Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members of the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys, and we are flying on the J11 to talk a little bit about China guys, and how China will probably be one of the best nations for you to grind, apart from the USSR, or Russia, right, and the USA. Um, of course, if you remember guys, I already did a video covering that, and guiding. Gaijin's policy on this is that there isn't a lot of vehicles to be added for um, quote-unquote minor nations. It's not really minor nations, you know what I mean, right? It's nations that are a little bit smaller, like Fl France, the UK, all the other countries, right? Um, they had a less, in a way, developed uh, in numbers of projects um, industry for these type of aircraft, for aviation, for fighters, for bombers, and everything like that. It doesn't mean that they don't have any option, but it is going to be um, less of them. You can clearly see that with, for example, the Mirage 4000, right? Um, the main fighter of France was the Mirage 2000. They had to add a prototype to actually have something to add between now and the Rafale, for example. If it wasn't for that, France would remain with basically nothing until we would see the Rafale. And that goes for every other country that it's not the USSR and USA. Remember, they were the top two economies in the world in the Cold War, meaning that they produced the most amount of everything, right? Um, especially weapon systems. So... Of course, they will have more options, but China, after the 90s, after the 2000s, they kind of became what, not like really, don't don't like think about this too much, okay? Uh, but they kind of became what the USSR was like kind of doing with their aircraft, you know, a lot of versions and a lot of models and everything like that. So, I gotta be honest, guys, if you are choosing a third or a second country to actually research, think about China. Not because of what it has right now, even though now it has probably one of the best aircraft in the game, if not the best, together with Russia, as the US-27. It has an amazing CAS option, which is the JH. It still has the F-16, which I'm still waiting for it to have the A9M or something like that. And it doesn't stop there. We will probably see every single patch that we see some something like a, a, a new aircraft uh, coming, having a new J11 or having a new J15, J16, J20. We have the FCK. There's so many options and they will always be very, very advanced really advanced for the game, right? So China might be the country to look, um, you know, out for if you, as I said, if you are trying to get another country into your lineup of vehicles, right? Um, I always say that the first two countries that you need to research if you want to have the most complete experience of Meta and everything else is the US and USSR because they will always have the most amount of additions. But China will be the third one right now when we start to see more J11s, more SU-27s, more aircraft like this. And um, only for the J11, for example, we can have literally, what, like, four or five models of it. We have B-placed models of it. We have even naval variants of it. We have everything that the Russians have uh, with a, a Chinese brand on it, basically, right? So, consider researching it, because maybe right now they only have one SU-27, so maybe they are still, like, you know, developing in that regard of the amount of vehicles and, the, and stuff like that that are meta. Uh, but they're getting there, and the, each patch that we receive more aircraft, we will see more... Chinese aircraft that are going to be more and more competitive, you know, so, um, yeah, of course, when the R-77s come, I'm on 20s, missiles like that come, uh, the Chinese can have the PL-12 and the R-77, 
they can have a J11A with those missiles, with at least the R-77, then the J11B with even the PL-10, you know. Uh, they can have the BS, for example, which is a uh, B-placed model of the J11. And then the naval variant of the J11B or the J15, which is a proper naval variant of uh, the SU-27, uh, much like the SU-33. So they always have something to complement the aircraft that they have. Of course, uh, most of the aircraft will be Sukhois or Sukhois derivative, uh, derivative aircraft, right? But of course, I'm not even talking about the light fighters that they have, like the J-10. The J-10 has so like three or four variants that can be added and it will be a very, very good aircraft, even if it's added uh, with just the um, the normal missiles and everything like that, like the Aspide and everything like that, right? Uh, we have the JF-17, which is another um, exported model of a vehicle, right? Just like they added the um, MBT-2000, uh, I think it's called, and the VTB, right, or the VT4B, or VT4A1, I think it's now called, uh, in the tank lineup. So, they're all tanks and uh, vehicles that are, you know, coming from China, even though they're not used by China sometimes, and there's so many options. It re I mean, they might, I mean, I'm not going to say that, but because, you know, there's always a version here and there that can be added for Russia, but they might even have more variants of the Sukhoi uh, than the Russians themselves. And they like basically have that part of kind of a NATO technology because of the way the detector is. So um, they can have an F-16 with M120s as well as an SU-27 with R-77 and in the future a J-10 with a PL-12. And at the same time, they can have a Mirage 2000 as well. So it's kind of crazy on how good this tech tree will be in the air in the future and how it's becoming uh, already one of the best tech trees in the game. Um, so yeah, guys, if you are wondering and looking for another tech tree to research, consider China. Uh, I think they are growing larger and they are going to be one of the most competitive nations in the game. Uh, people can hate about this or dislike it or whatever. It doesn't change the fact that they are going to be using uh, one of the most advanced aircraft in the meta, which is uh, the SU-27's derivatives, right? So uh, we are already there, so it, there's nothing we can even do about it. And um, yeah, these were, weren't the greatest matches that I had, I gotta say. I was dying really easily, and uh, maybe I'm kind of tired, but anyway... Um, so you will see me dying in a way that, oh my god. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.